Life without electricity is a total nightmare. It sounds excruciating and unacceptably painful, right? Our lives have become so reliant on electricity that even an hour without it feels like an eternity. We now demand electricity for nearly all of our actions, from the simplest chores like recharging a phone to refueling industrial systems more than ever before. But what if we had to face one whole year without electricity? Hey folks, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we'll show you what the whole world would look like if there was no electricity for one year. It may not be as easy as you think to live without electricity, and you may not know how many products in your home need it to work unless they'll stop working. Heat, food, water, transportation, energy, entertainment, and communication are all provided through electrically controlled technology. We have learned to rely on it to do our daily chores and have constructed our lives around it, despite having survived thousands of years without it. We're so dependent on electricity that many people would probably kill themselves if it suddenly stopped working. Some people want to live off the grid, relying on alternative energy sources to power their homes, rather than relying on electricity. For many years, they were seen as environmental fighters and frequent eccentrics who lived an unusual and radical style of life. But it's now becoming a mainstream choice for many. There are individuals who live and thrive without even having access to electricity. According to a 2010 estimate, 1.2 billion people worldwide did not have access to electricity. That amounted to 17% of the world's population living in darkness. As of 2017, there were 840 million individuals who did not have access to electricity. It's a remarkable decline, but progress in connecting some of the world's most distant areas is obviously not possible without its difficulties. Renewable technology and off-grid options such as solar electricity will be necessary to minimize the number of people living in darkness. Thousands of people lose electricity each year as a result of natural catastrophes, harsh weather, or power line failures. A little storm that breaks one power line can result in a power outage for hundreds of families and houses disrupting their everyday lives completely. Now, let's get to the specifics of how no electricity will affect us if it one day ceases to exist. Well, for starters, you'll find that you're unable to turn on the lights in your home and that street illumination is limited. With the dark evenings and little light to guide us, many people become susceptible targets. There would be no electricity to operate your refrigerator or freezer, and your phone lines and the signal would be down. With no backup charging option, your mobile phone would become worthless as the battery drains. Your gas central heating system will stop working, and your water supply will stop flowing clean water. Some people take a long time to realize that without electricity, there are no cash machines, no lifts, no power to keep manufacturing running, and no fuel stations. In short, it's seen as the end of the world as we know it. Heating and water are two essential aspects of our lives, and both are jeopardized without electricity. Our house's gas central heating uses electrical controls, circulation systems, and pumps. Water systems rely on electrically controlled systems and pumps, so even if water is still available in your house, it must be purified before consumption. According to a study, 50% of the people indicated that they couldn't last more than two weeks without electricity, demonstrating our reliance on easily accessible power. A shocking 75% of those questioned projected that they would die within two months if they had no access to electricity. We're all dependent on electricity in some manner, and when it's taken away from us, we become tremendously vulnerable. With the advent of new technological advancements and the improvement of the internet, this will only grow worse. But what are the alternatives? What can we do if we don't have access to electricity? Have you ever heard of the National Grid? Well, the National Grid, which provides power, gas, telephone lines, sewage systems, and water, will be linked to a regular everyday home. Going off the grid entails abandoning your current way of life in order to generate your own energy and become self-sufficient. According to reports, there were between 75,000 and 100,000 residents in the UK in 2014 and over 2 million people in America who chose alternative off-grid lives by 2016. People prefer to live off the grid for a number of reasons, including a desire for a simpler lifestyle, a want to be more environmentally conscious in their energy use, or a desire to save expenses on their electricity bills. You're no longer depending on the grid to power goods in your home if you live off the grid. Instead, you're fully responsible for powering your own home. It's an opportunity for people to disconnect from the technologically complex world we live in and gain new skills and tools for living. Before investing in an off-grid system, determine how much energy your home consumes and then work out your plan from there. 
Next, evaluate what solar and wind resources are available, as well as how you'll modify your lifestyle for periods when electricity is unavailable. The total cost of buying and constructing a renewable energy off-grid system might be rather high now as the concept is still fairly new. Many homes, however, have made the switch to alternative energy sources because of prior feed-in tariff incentives and the desire to become self-sufficient. Life without electricity in the current period might be difficult, but there's still a lot you can do without it, and there are numerous alternative energy sources to pick from and install in your house. So what are these alternatives? Well, solar power is the first energy source that springs to mind. Most solar panels, however, will not work without electricity since they must first send the power created back into the grid before it can be utilized to power your home. As a result, without a fully functional power infrastructure, solar-powered systems are effectively worthless in the event of a power outage. Off-grid solar power systems with big battery banks can be used to store the excess energy generated. This can be pricey, but if you have the funds and are willing to spend, off-grid solar power systems are the most cost-effective and dependable option. Wind turbines are another popular option, and when combined with solar PV, they provide a powerful and dependable renewable energy system for your house. In the summer and winter, solar and wind work well together since the wind turbine will continue to create power for your home even if the sun isn't shining. If you have a river, lake, or creek on your property, hydropower is a terrific option too. Any off-grid renewable energy source relies on batteries. Your house would only be able to run on the power it gets at the time if there were no batteries to store the energy provided by renewable sources. Those who choose to live off the grid and create their own renewable energy frequently build battery power banks to store the excess energy they generate. Battery power banks are independent of the grid and therefore unlikely to be affected by power outage. There has never been a better moment to integrate battery storage into your renewable energy system than now. Especially with battery storage prices decreasing and Tesla's creation, the power wall. Those who are already off the grid rely primarily on wood burning stoves and fire pits for both warmth and cooking. They are a terrific source of heat for your house and they're simple to distribute across rooms. It's crucial to remember to save dry wood for the winter months. Solar thermal and biomass are two more alternative heating sources that may also provide enough heat for a dwelling. Yet, those are a lot of disadvantages we've talked about, even with the alternatives, but whenever there are demerits, there are always merits that come along with it. Speaking of which, let us look at a few of them. The first merit would be us, humans indulging in an active way of living. Electricity scarcity or unavailability will make us more physically active to a considerable extent. We'll spend the time we spend sitting in front of a television, gaming console, surfing the internet, talking, and other forms of entertainment on outdoor activities that involve physical movement of the body. Other tasks will have to be completed manually or mechanically, resulting in body exercises. Human labor will be given more importance and respect. The widespread redundancy of electrically powered equipment will raise the value of physical labor, particularly in developing nations. Manual labor is seen with disdain in most parts of the world. The need of manpower will naturally increase its worth and esteem by a factor of 10. One of the most important merits would be for us, humans, to attain a global peace and harmony. The energy crisis will be a global issue, the severity of its effects will vary, but they will be significant. The world's governments will have to settle their differences in order to address the most pressing issue at hand. Unity has power and it will be realized at the most crucial moment. Collaboration of brains will become a requirement, encouraging peaceful and harmonious partnerships. However, most people throughout the world aren't prepared for life without electricity, or for what it's like to go without basic necessities like a working toilet or clean running water. We take electricity for granted since it's a constant presence in our daily lives, and we utilize it without hesitation. But with natural calamities on the horizon and major volcanic eruptions on the horizon, isn't it time we give it some thought?